We're back for more Skyrim. This episode, uh, first thing we're gonna do uh, for this session, we'll, we'll go to Winterhold eventually. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find Queen Walrus's sword over there. Then we're gonna go to White Run and be like, "Hey, here's Ulfric's axe, asshole." Um, but uh, I think we are going to actually, first of all, go down here into the sewers. So this is Skyrim sewers. That mod. Uh, and these sewers tend to have really good stuff. Uh, pretty, pretty tough fights, but I feel like I can take them on uh, now. And they are quite confusing. So, uh, there's that. Need something? Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yep, I'm a very great guy. What do you got here? Nothing. Alright. Understandable. Alright, let's head to the Great Quarter. Slaughterfish. So hard to see them. Missed. Missed again. Missed again. Eh, yeah, fucking whatever. Oh, low light. Oh, you. All right, ooh, 75 gold, I'll take that. Uh, your axe is probably worth something. Deconstructed, of course. Hi. Asshole. Here we go, the old canals. Definitely gonna have to bust out a torch here. Oh shit, we only have one. Doesn't look like it's helping us a whole deal, but we'll do what we gotta do. Y'all feel? Nice. I also don't know how Avir got there. Oh, shit. Here we go. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, hold on, Thalmor. Clothes. Yeah, thanks. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I have a robe that does that, so I'm gonna take it. For the ages of men. Oh, that also reminds me. Did I? I never did read this. Okay, good. Alright, Ancient Windhelm Key, a deadly poison, a strong box, some stuff, letter from Sunhold. This cell will function as a control point in case of the Stormcloak Rebellion seizes power in Skyrim. Be careful of the balance. Stay informed. You are well aware to do this situation leads to the coronation of Yara Ulfric. Ulfric is allowed, only allowed to live on the condition that he remains an asset to us. Okay. And this leads straight to Neranya's place. Okay, that's nice. I feel like polishing my sword. To this area here. Oh, wait, maybe not. Let's. It looks like there's something over here. But yeah, it's just a grate. Unless 
this like opens it, which it doesn't, so that's nice. Alright, well, we're gonna make use of that key, that I do know. Here. Thanks for appearing in front of me because that makes sense. Oop, mushrooms. That's uh, on the other side of this. Oh, okay, I found space fighters. Straight to Windhelm. Looks like there's something else on this side. Nope. Oh, this is probably just like a straight up exit. Yeah. Nope, and the slaughterfish are finally after me. Is there anything else over here? Ooh, clams. Yay! Uh, is this one lead somewhere? Or is this the way we came? Yeah, we already went that way. So, and we went that way, so whatever. We do need to go back here. Oh, Doggo! Out of here. Marketplace. Fuck. Wait, does this lead nowhere? What's the point of whatever? Oh. We got up here two ways. So it leads to the marketplace. This probably leads to like somebody's house. Oh, the palace underworks. Let's go. Go, doggo. Ah! Alright, what are we talking about over here? Ah, fuck. Really? Astonishing Tales of the Sea. Ooh, a picture. Nothing else over there. Darn it. Okay. Ooh, someone got murked. What happened here? Ooh, Falmer? Chess is in the upper level. Enter the palace through the sewers. There should be a trap door in the sewers. Just use an escape route. Be careful when you enter the sewers, though. They say they are far more doing down there. When you get the job done, hide the loot under the rock. Near the western outfall. Pick it up after nightfall. Huh. Okay. Let's see this. Some chest here. I think. There's the guide to Imperial Infrastructure, which comes with this mod. Ooh, salt pile. Let me read it again. Oh, 
in the upper level. I'm not gonna go walk all the way over there. It's probably just some arbitrary chest. No big deal. Okay. He's gotta be kidding me. Kill him. Probably shouldn't be unsheathing this. Okay. What does this lead to? Went home barracks. Puddle. Okay. It's random. Okay. What's here? The, the manor district. Okay. I think there's something in this pool, if I remember correctly. I can't see the slaughterfish, though, but that's not a big deal since I can just swim. Yeah, the subterrain. I was right. Here we go. This plate's pretty nutty from what I remember. And Abir's not with us, so that's nice. But here we go. There's the Falmer arrow. Hi, Abir. Is there really anything? No, it's not good enough. We meet again. Let's devour that human heart. Mm, yes, delicious. Oh, oh, oh. It's coming for you. Oh, hello. Oh, God, War Master. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that Lord Master to show up. Could have sworn they happened at like higher levels, but I guess I'm wrong. stuff again. Ah! It's kind of weird how it goes from like Nordic ruins to uh, Dwemer stuff. Ah! Cool, though. Get him, doggo. Get him, at beer. Doggo, you want to help? Oh crap. What have I done to you? Okay, you should have some decent stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Ancient Palmer stuff. Wonderful. next level. Oh yeah, let's go with this bone stuff. One of types of four bone altars, had a bone, one of each bone. So you need one of each. That's fucking sick. Let's 
Skeleton mages? Okay, do you have gut bones? Oh, uh, maybe you have to reload a cell. Or maybe fall murders aren't considered humanoids. This leads to Skyrim? Where? Hmm. No, somewhere completely fucking random. Oh, can I not get back up there now? Ah, oh, this is somewhere. Where are we? Oh, wow. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere. That's cool, though. Oh, see, now, I don't know why it was darker earlier. I wouldn't have noticed that. Hmm, what is this? It looks like another Dwemer ruin. The tunnels of Trom. Of Trom. Hello, Trom. Oh, God. That's actually a chorus. Okay. <laughs> That's the wrong way, brother. Off. Yeah, I guess Falmer aren't considered humanoid. Oh, let's see where the bone altars are. If there's like anywhere easy to like really spot them. Rift bone altar. Okay, so that's one. The reach bone altar. Hafengar, so shouldn't there be one like up here? Because I'm only counting three. Oh, maybe it's down here hmm, Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Reach. Aguallo, Fort Amol. Yeah, I ain't, uh. I ain't seeing this fourth bone altar. I might be blind. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. Ah, whatever, I'm not gonna spend a ridiculous amount of time looking for it. It's probably something pretty obvious. Oh, hello. Alright, you just got finished, brother. You took a nice pick to the knee. <laughs> All right, I hate my life. Let's continue. Oh, 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 welcome back. <laughs> oh, God. Do I even know in Black? I wish Black Reach had its own map. There's really no reason they should. They, it, it doesn't. Oh, we're right by Sundarian's field lab. Um, quick question Do we have dwarven oil? No, we don't. I don't know how long we want to actually explore here, but... Okay, so the tunnels are right here. So I'm just going to go right over here and see what's there. And there's also Crimson Mariner right here, so I might as well... Might as well, uh, take a little bit of that. Well, is there not really any easy way? I okay, forget it. I'm not gonna fucking stay down here for 20 hours looking for it. 
for like an inch or so. It's probably around, but I don't want to really lose my track, so. <clears throat> One thing I always do appreciate about <coughs> Skyrim mods that usually do uh, interact with the Dwemer is that they'll always lead something to Black Rage. Like, that's just really cool. But uh, I think that's the end of this area. Yeah. Let's lead you straight to uh, the ruins. I don't even think you could have gotten it from down there, so if I had gone in that direction, I probably would have been like, oh, what the fuck is this? It wouldn't have led me anywhere, so whatever. It's not a big deal. Yeah, because I think it's only activated from one way. That was weird. Someday, I'd like to ride a dragon. I do like the look of the tribunal I mask at this. This was something I hadn't even considered. Oh, can I not loot this? Thank you. Oh, wait, there's orcish arrows. I don't need those. Oh, I'm actually curious about something. This hadn't even occurred to me. Um. I was, I was really hoping that that would have, um, that that would have led to, like, a crossbow specialization versus a bow specialization. That would have been cool. Okay. How you doing? This is a very cool fight um, that I definitely want to read this here. The Book of Frozen Tears. Morning Star, second era of 555. Like a hellish blizzard, the minions of Adrasum, dear Kemal, swept over our lands. Their legions quickly surrounded the sacred city of Iskrimor. The walls of Windhome could not halt. The wrath of the snow demons. Gargantuan frost troll smashed the gates with a battering ram forged from pure stallroom. Thanks to the adamant resistance by the city's marksmen, the attack was briefly halted at the main plaza. However, this short moment of victory did not last for long. The Grand Battle Mage of the Kamal summoned an ice golem of gigantic proportions. Most of the city was devastated in a heartbeat. Men of voice tried to thaw the beast with their dragon breath, but their efforts diminished the creature's forces only slightly. There was only one option at this point. I knew about the caverns beneath the city, vast, deep chasms burrowed by the dwarves that were used as catacombs by our people. They decided to destroy the ground under the invading army's feet. The combined shout, the warriors of voice shattered the very foundations of our city and sent the ice legions into the undermountain depths. But the battle was not over for the creatures summoned. And believe me, we're not slain. Our greatest swordsman, Hemdal Warborn, drove the creature deeper and deeper into the bowels of the underworld. Had even his sword, Shard Slasher, crafted by the Skullsmiths of Solstheim, was unable to penetrate the creature's icy skin. So it was decided that the creature was to be imprisoned in the city vaults until its powers would wane and the spirit would be called back to oblivion. Heimdall Warborn died a warrior's death so that I could seal the demon into this icy trap. This gate must be sealed until the creature's powers can no longer threaten the city. Gorm the Elder. Alright. Now, I don't exactly recall what the, uh, the boobop is here. The, uh, this. See, so I might be here a while. So... That's a good way to end the episode. Thank you all for watching.